the gentleman reserves, uh, the gentleman from Massachusetts recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Let me, let me just say that, um, you know, I have enormous respect for the gentleman from Oklahoma, and I think, you know, uh, I mean, th and there's this old uh, adage that you don't have to agree on everything to agree on something. And much of what he cited is, is something that I think we all can agree on. You know, investments in medical research, support for the NIH, uh, investments in trying to find ways to uh, manage and cure cancer. All those things are incredibly important, and I think they br bring us together. Some of the things he said I disagree with. I, I, I believe it is a mistake to deny uh, women uh, their legal reproductive rights, um, and I think the defense budget uh, is way too big. You know, our, uh, spending more on something doesn't necessarily get you a better result. Uh, we need to spend more efficiently and more effectively. Uh, we have a military budget that is so bloated, that is so excessive, that is so filled with cost overruns that even Dr. Strangelove would be impressed. Um, we need to do better. But having said that, I am aware that we have to be able to live within the, we, we have to be able to deal uh, on legislation within the re reality that we live in. Um, and so, uh, you know, we have a 50-50 Senate. Uh, we have a, 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 a majority here in the House, not as big as I would like. That, hopefully that changes in November. Uh, but the bottom line is we have to work with what we have, and I think that's what has occurred here. I just want to say one thing, though. Um, we continue to hear this claim that uh, President Biden's climate policies are somehow to blame for the latest uh, spike in gas prices, but I think we need to just set the record straight here. Domestic energy production is up. It is rising and is it approach and it is approaching records. There are over 9,000 approved drilling permits the oil industry is not using, and truth is that uh, changes in domestic energy policy often take years to impact global energy markets. Instead, what is happening here is oil companies are using Putin's war as an excuse to jack up prices at the pump uh, even more, and they argue for looser regulations, cheaper drilling and more pollution. This is Putin's price hike. Um, and quite frankly, at, at this time of global crisis, I would like to appeal to the patriotism of big oil uh, in this country uh, to not make record profits their priority, uh, to actually put the American people's interest, in fact, the global interest, first. Uh, so let's not fool ourselves that greed uh, isn't at play here. And I ask unanimous consent to insert into to the record a March 4th opinion article written by the House Natural Resource Committee Chairman Raul Grijalva entitled, Oil and Gas Lobbyists Are Using Ukraine to Push for a Drilling Free-for-All in the United States. Without objection. At this 